Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. Okay, in this version we'll be discussing elevations in Chief Architect X3, which is their premier uh, latest version. I'm in uh, say August of 2010, so if you're watching this video after that, it might not be the latest version. Now, would it? All right. Let me show you some of the goodies this Elevation Tools has for the new Premiere. So let's take a look at this. We'll start a blank plan, and I'm just going to draw a simple little house. So I'm taking my exterior walls, and I'm drawing my house. Do 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 do. And I'm done. That was pretty quick, huh? Okay, no, but we wanted we want to make a few more adjustments, so let's uh, make them. I'm going to select this wall, holding down Shift. I'm also going to select this wall and the back wall, and I'm going to use this gable tool to automatically gable those walls. Then I'm going to go over to my roof tool, double click it, and I'm going to generate a roof plane. There we go. Now let's take a look at what we've just created. I'm going to use the orthographic full overview. Click it one time, and there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to tile vertically so we can kind of see what happens next. Okay, going back to the floor plan, I'm going to click on my doors and add a door right here. I'm going to add a window, say right here, and a couple of windows here and there. Okay, now I'm ready to start my elevations. So what I need is I need to start with uh, layout page. So I'm going to go to File and New Layout and a layout page appears. Now this is a pre-made template one that I have already set up so I'm going to go to a blank page so I can set up my elevation. Uh, before I do that you'll want to save both your plan file and your elevation file. So starting with the elevation file let's just go File, Save As, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go over here to my plan file File, Save As, and just save it as whatever their default is. I'm going to get rid of the 3D view for now, and we'll just lay this one up. Go back to the plan view, and let's get my first elevation, my front elevation. So I'm going to use my cross-section elevation tool. In the front of my house, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, and I'm going to drag forward. And you can see the line being created with the camera. I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight up against the front of the house, and it generates my view. Now to make things interesting, I want to make this wall here brick and leave this one as stucco. So um, let's do that in the 2D view. I'm going to select this wall and we'll move this over so we can kind of see what's going on. I select that wall. I'm going to open it up, go into my wall tabs, and I'm going to scroll up here to brick 4. Click OK. And you'll notice it generates my brick wall. But here it did something funny with the roof. It has a little exposed thing and also the attic wall is not brick. Well that's because we had generated the roof with the stucco walls. So if I simply go up to the attic walls, select on this attic wall, which I'll get a warning screen that I'm about to edit it. Click OK. I can just delete it and Chief will automatically regenerate my attic wall, but this time using the brick that comes from below. So I'm simply going to delete this wall. Go over here to the delete button, hit delete. It regenerates my wall, gives me brick. It's a great little handy tool. Okay, so going back to my plan, I'm going to go to the first floor. Here's my elevation, which I like. That's what I want. And I want to send that <coughs> view to my layout. Okay, so it's just as simple as selecting the plan view and hitting send to layout. And when this window pops up, it says, how do you want to send it? Well, you can send it to quarter inch scale, half inch scale. I can set it to whatever I want. But the important thing is for my layout is over here where it says vector view options, wherever, whatever your numbers are set to, you want to leave it checked. So they're all checked to use the edge line defaults and use the pattern line defaults and click OK and it will generate a layout to that page and if we zoom in here we can see remember the edge line defaults were 2 and the others were 35 well that means the edges are nice and thick at 35 thickness and the pattern lines are set to 2 which are kinda thin now I'm gonna expand the screen so I have it full on here so we can work with this now I'm gonna modify this even further some of the cool things we can do is I can right click 
on the plan and choose open and this window layout box specifications opens and go down here remember where it says 35 of those the thickness and line color is black I'm gonna increase this to say I don't know, let's say 50 and then I'm gonna leave it black I'm gonna take the pattern line down to one and I'm gonna change the, from black to maybe a gray color and click OK and hit the space bar and now I'm going to zoom in some more and we can kind of see the difference that it made. That's kind of cool, right? So now we can see and better control the line weights that print out on the final print set, which is very handy. Also a few other things we can do. In this elevation tool, uh, this elevation view, excuse me, this part of the house is closer than that part of the house. So wouldn't it be cool if this stays nice and thick and these lines maybe get a little thinner? Well, we can do that as well. I can go to the Edit Layout tool, and I can then select the lines I don't want to be so thick and tone them down. Let's say we take these down to maybe 25. Select that line. Click in here, select this line. And pretty quickly, you can see I'm changing the defaults. I'm going to zoom in here, and we're going to try to grab the other big, thick line. There it is. We're just going to bring them on down. Now I notice in this one, I can select the full line that goes all the distance. And I'm just going to pull that down to there. And select this line, which is the thinner one, the one in behind. Make sure it's 25. And now it gives kind of a clear representation of what's closer, what's further away. You can also get more specific. Like let's say this window is existing, but this window is new. So I'm going to hold down or click one time on my edit layout. Holding down shift, I'm going to drag over this window. We'll select that whole window. Open it up and maybe make it 35. And I don't know, let's make it like a blue color. <clears throat> and we can designate a certain color to be a certain way. So overall and pretty quickly, I was able to edit this elevation and make it do exactly what I needed it to do. So I hope you learned something new, and I'll talk to you again soon.